Hello. I just read a poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. It's Christabel. It's a very strange poem. Dreamy. It's a two-part uh, narrative ballad. Each part is unfinished. And it tells the story of Christabel, who goes off at night and she's in the woods and she discovers a, a damsel, it's a Geraldine, uh, by an oak tree. And uh, she, she approaches the, uh, the woman and finds that she had been ab abducted by bandits and uh, left at this oak tree. So Christabel takes her in, and they uh, spend spend the night outside. They uh, have they pray and have strange visions, and uh, it's almost hallucinatory. The the way that the, the description of, of 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 the night the description of the night is hallucinatory, and they go back to the uh, castle or, or whatever. And the damsel is given hospitality, but she seems unhappy. And it's it's there's a question of um, how how is she being received? Is she actually um, being treated well as a guest? Are there ulterior motives? Um, is she being un ungrateful? Um, there's bad omens. Almost like prophetic, strange meanings, and uh, it talks about like um, you he hearing owls and um, roosters crowing and things like that. And it freaked me out. I'm, I'm kind of out of sorts right now, thinking about this poem. And some some of you may know that there's a uh, there had been a rooster on my property and it's been here for about a month Ben doesn't want it here my friend Ben and I asked if I could keep it and he, he said I, I could keep it if I took care of it and so today my father and I my dad and I went out and we got a rooster coop and we built it today it was really nice and we got rooster feed and um, little little bowls for the food and water and um, uh, pine shavings and bedding it's all luxury for the rooster I spent the afternoon running around the property trying to catch a wild rooster to no avail and when the sun set I went to where the rooster has been sleeping and I, I, I abducted him and I put him in this rooster cage, this coop. And tonight now I'm reading about an abducted damsel who's then taken to someone else's home. I'm, I'm just really all out of sorts the rooster was unhappy when I picked him up and stuck him in there, and he's he's out there right now, afraid or sleeping now. For one thing, you can never tell if a rooster's happy. You know, it's unhappy, but the, you know, it's such a disgruntled species. And then reading this poem about abductions and omens and roosters crowing and owls screeching. It is a beautiful poem, and it, it, it does, it has uh, all of those like metaphysical, s strange qualities, dreamy, opium smoke inducing uh, visions that you can have from reading Coleridge. It's one of the reasons that I love him. I'll read a passage, maybe to give you an idea. Uh, is the night chilly and dark? The night is chilly but not dark. The thin gray cloud is spread on high. It covers, but not hides the sky. 
the moon is behind and at the full, and yet she looks both small and dull. The night is chill, the cloud is gray, tis a month before the month of May, and the spring comes slowly up this way. There's other other parts that are just so so much of it is beautiful uh, and rich and strange and exotic, uh, especially uh, alas, they had been friends in youth, but whispering tongues can poison truth, and constancy lives in realms above, and a life is thorny. And youth is vain. Reminds me of uh, T. S. Eliot. Uh, what does he say? Um, and youth and youth is cruel and has no remorse. It smiles in situations which it cannot see. And they smile, of course, going and going drinking tea. Um, I don't know. I know it's not related. Um, it's a short video for. A short poem that um, par parallels my day. Uh, I'm all kind of freaked out and worried about this rooster that I um, will now be taken care of, and I want to make sure that he is uh, happy. And we'll see how it goes. Um, so, Christabel by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've uh, read the poem. I, I certainly recommend it. Uh, I, I love I love reading Coleridge, and I love getting freaked out reading Coleridge. Uh, so leave a comment if you'd like, and thank you for watching.